When I was originally taking notes on the novel, I thought that this passage, I'd taken a note that this passage was about a Jekyll because it talks about a doctor whose, whose looks have degraded and have become horrible. But actually, this is Lanyon, of course. Dr. Lanyon, a friend of both Jekyll and Utterson. And we only learn in chapter 9 what's changed. What's changed for him is he saw the transformation of Hyde to Jekyll. And he helped get the chemicals to allow for that. And, of course, if you want to talk about Lanyon, um, you talk about how Lanyon distances himself from the scientific experiments of Jekyll, how they were all really best, great best friends. I think in chapter two you learn that, but now it's just a complete, he refuses to see Jekyll, he doesn't want to even talk about him, and let's look closely at the language used to describe him. A death warrant written legibly upon his face. So it's as if death itself, he is going to die, his death is coming, uh, and it's, 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 it's inscribed in his face itself. The contrasts are worth noting. He, he's gone from rosiness to pale. His flesh itself fallen away as if he were to become a skeleton. His hair, he's losing his hair, and there's a decay to his body. All of this is gothic horror. What has caused this? Just witnessing the transformation. Just to see such evil. The reader later, by the end, is supposed to get that sense that, that Hyde is such pure evil that he can transform those people who are even around him. And Utterson here doesn't really know, nor does the reader technically know what's happened. But he gets the sense that there's real fear inside of him. And Utterson thinks to himself... His days are counted. I mean, he's dead. There's only, you know, almost we can count the number of days he'll be alive. He knows something that he can't carry. He can't carry, he can't hold on to it, and he's doomed. That language really sticks out, the idea of knowledge that he can't bear. So Utterson is within this game of playing, you know, pretending he knows, pretending he doesn't know. But here it's really clear that Lanyon does know something, and it's destroyed him. And this touches on that idea of scientific knowledge versus religious, and that idea of uh, good versus bad. Uh, what, what does pursuing knowledge give us? If it, in the Victorian era, it was supposed to lead to a sense of progress and moving forward and development, but actually here, knowledge is seen as something malicious, dark, fearful, evil, and self-destructive. Um, the character of Lanyon uh, is a really interesting one that you can write about quite easily in this novel to contrast with Jekyll as they're both doctors. It would help us to think about Utterson's confusion in terms of his friendship with these two friends. They're two, um, so these passages are, are really helpful to think about and just to think about just that key language of physical decay and fear that comes with knowledge.